Preparing the files. Once Enka has designed your case, they will send the designed files back to you. Download the files into the computer you'll be doing printing and open up the Denka Cinit software. Open up the files by clicking on open and then select the desired files. It is important to ensure that they fit within the square. You can move the denture bases around to ensure they fit within the building plate. You can move the angle of the denture base by selecting one of the dentures and then clicking on the curved arrow button to open up a menu that allows you to change the position of the denture on the X, Y and Z axis. It is recommended that you place the denture at an angle between 20 and 30 degrees with the two sockets facing up. After positioning, click on the bottom below the curved arrow to generate the support. It's important to adjust the values for density, height and thickness to the ones shown on the screen. Making them too long can increase the printing time. Once ready, click on Generate Supports. After generation, click on Edit Supports. In this mode, you can rearrange the existing supports by moving the green dots around. Delete existing supports by selecting them and clicking the delete button on your keyboard or creating new supports by clicking on a blank area. Clicking on a particular support will change it from green to red to show which one you are working on. Rearrange the supports to create a design similar to the one on the screen. For the maxillary base you want to have all supports concentrated on the palette in three rows of four supports each or have the supports on the borders but none on the rest of the intaglio. You can use the right sliding bar to know how many supports you have per area to determine if the base has enough support. If support is insufficient, the printing could collapse. If you add too many supports, you will spend more time post-processing. Once adjusted, click on Apply Supports. Repeat the same steps on the lower arch. When creating supports on the mandibular arch, ensure to create additional ones on the posterior area to increase stability to the denture. Once all supports have been generated, click on the same button below the arrow and click on Add Base Support. It is recommended that you then adjust the width and length of the base plate by clicking on the double arrow and adjust the plate size to save up material. When finalized, your design should look like this. It's highly recommended to save your design in case you want to reprint for the future. For the teeth, load up all tooth files following the same procedure and arrange them with the occlusal surface facing up. It's important to arrange the inclination of the teeth so they are close to the base as possible in order to save printing time. It is also recommended to arrange them on a single line for easy printing and alignment.
Once finished, generate the supports and edit them so the lower anterior incisal teeth have one support on the lingual and one on the facial. Canines should have additional support on the distal section. Once finished, apply supports and generate the base as established in the previous part of the tutorial. As for the posterior teeth, ensure the supports are evenly spread around the border of the base, adding extra supports as needed. Molars should have around 5 supports and premolars should have around 4 supports. The maxillary anterior teeth should have four supports per teeth, with one additional on the distal of the canine teeth. Once all bases and supports have been generated, align them on the side of the plate and save the files as one tooth file, following the same naming convention as the files you received from Denka. When finished, your design files should look like this. If doing a trying, follow the same steps as the ones described for the denture base support generation. When setting up, ensure that the teeth are facing up and place them on a 3 to 4 degree angulation.
When finished, your design files should look like this. Printing process. Turn the printer on and screw in the resin tank in the printer if you haven't done so yet. Make sure you shake the bottle prior to pouring it in the tank. Fill out the tank with a desired tooth or gum shade to about one third of the tank's capacity. If you would like to find specific volume amounts of liquid for each print in order to minimize material waste, please refer to the standard operation procedure for more information. Once ready, connect the building plate and close the lid. Connect the USB cable corresponding to the printer you're using to the computer. If you have more than one printer, ensure you select the correct cable and open the software corresponding to that printer. Select the type of material you will be using, then load the files you are printing. If printing teeth, it is recommended you put them on one side of the plate and alternate sides between prints to ensure you lengthen the life of your resin tanks as they have a limited number of uses. Once ready, click on the print icon and then click on generate. If done correctly, your printing should start and say uploading followed by printing starts. Once you see the timer, unplug the USB cable and make sure you do not open the lid until it finishes as printing will stop and you will have to start from scratch.